Hello friends, welcome to our channel Mechanical Motivator. In this video, we will be seeing the derivation of angular velocity and acceleration of the connecting rod. So here we will be having a diagram. So this is a reciprocating IC engine and a horizontal engine. Uh, the cylinder will be here and the piston will be reciprocating. So what happens is the rotary motion is converted into reciprocating motion. So velocity and acceleration of piston we already derived in the previous video. And here we are going to derive the video for, I mean we are going to derive for angular velocity and angular acceleration for the connecting rod. So L, L is the nothing but length of the connecting, L is the length of connecting rod and this R is the crank radius and phi is the angle of inclination between the connecting rod and line of stroke and n is nothing but ratio of connecting rod to the crank radius so l by r so here we are having cq so as i already said i'm going to resolve the component l component this uh, this is the length of the connecting rod i'm going to resolve into horizontal vertical component in ver horizontal means we'll be having l cos phi and vertical means l sin phi similarly the, i'm going to resolve this crank radius into horizontal and vertical Horizontal we will be having R cos theta and vertically we will be having R sin theta. So here CQ, CQ is vertical component. So we will be having R sin theta. So R sin theta and here vertical component is L sin phi. So vertical component is sin. So now I am going to, what I am going to do is I am just going to bring this L downwards. So sin phi is equal to R divided by L sin theta. This R by L we can write N is equal to L by R. So instead of R by L, I'm ca I can write by 1 divided by N because L N is equal to L by R. So sin phi is equal to sin theta by N. Now I am going to differentiate both the sides with respect to time t. So what happens? Sin means cos. So differentiating sin phi, we can write cos phi. If you want to differentiate phi means d phi by dt. Here sin theta, sin if we differentiate, we will get cos. So cos theta, n is constant. If we differentiate theta, d theta by dt. So d theta by dt, we can write as omega. d theta by dt, that is, we already saw in uh, velocity of piston itself. That is, rate of change of uh, velocity with respect to time. So we can, write, we can write as omega. So next is, since the angular velocity of connecting rod PC, PC, is same as the angular velocity of point P with respect to C. So D is equal to D theta by DT. So if we know D theta by DT, we can easily get the angular velocity. So omega PC is nothing but the angular velocity. This we need to determine, which is nothing but D theta by DT. So what we're going to do is cos theta by N. Now bring this cos phi also downwards. So cos theta by N into omega divided by cos phi, bring this cos phi downwards. So omega by cos phi, we can clip omega and n. So omega by n you clip together and cos theta by cos phi you clip together. So now what we are going to do is we are going to determine cos phi. Cos phi we can return as 1 minus sin square phi whole root. That is, this is the basic trigonometry formula which we saw already. Now I am going to replace sin phi. Sin phi can be written as sin theta by n. So these things we saw earlier. So this equation can be written as 1 minus sin square theta by n square. I am going to replace sin phi by sin theta by n. So power 1 by 2. So 1 by 2 is nothing but root. That's what they have written. So now just substitute this cos phi value in this omega pc. So omega pc is the angular velocity of the connecting rod. So omega by n you write as it is, cos theta you write as it is. Instead of this cos phi, I am going to write this term. So just replace this term. So if you take n outside means n square right, already we are having root. So automatically both things will be getting cancelled and will be having n alone. And if you take LCM means n square minus sin square theta. So n square minus sin square theta whole power 1 by 2. So you will be having like this and this n and this n will be get cancelled. Once you take n, n is common. I mean, if you take n square outside means you will be having only n right. So this n and this n will be get, getting cancelled and will be having omega cos theta by this denominator. So omega cos theta, we will be having this denominator. Denominator. The, this is the equation. I mean, for, we have found the angular velocity of the connecting rod. So take this as equation 1. Now we are going to determine angular acceleration of the connecting rod PC. So it can be written as alpha PC. 
if angular velocity means omega angular acceleration means alpha so angular acceleration of p with respect to c if we differentiate the velocity once once means we'll be getting acceleration right so just differentiate equation 1 that is d by dt of omega pc so d by dt differentiating with respect to time means automatically we will be what we will be having d by d theta omega pc into d theta by dt d theta by dt we can write as omega as you already know so differentiating with respect to omega uh, d by dt omega pc into omega that is uh, d theta by dt can be written as omega so now what we're going to do is we're going to differentiate the equation one with respect to theta so d by dt of omega pc so differentiating the entire term with respect to theta so this is like u by v right so we can write v v u dash minus u v dash divided by v square try to understand it's a uv method so v u dash minus u v dash divided by v square so i'm writing v entire term u is differentiate uh, take this omega common i mean outside so cos theta if you differentiate minus sin theta minus u u is cos theta right as it is uh, v square now differentiate this term if you differentiate mean one, one by two will be coming outside and write the entire term and power will be minus into minus two sin theta two will be coming friend two sin theta if you differentiate sin means it's cos theta so divided by v square so v is this square means the entire term will go so that's what i did one second i tell v u dash minus u v dash divided by v square so once you do means you'll be getting this equation and if you reduce means by reducing is uh, take this uh, uh take i uh, mean if you reduce mean take this cos theta here so cos if you take mean cos square it will be coming and minus will be getting here uh, take this minus common so minus means it will be become plus and cos square theta now we are having an equation like this now what we are going to do is uh, next is take this uh, entire uh, take take minus sign outside so minus sign outside mean minus omega sin theta so here we will be having this minus will be going outside so here write the entire term and uh, sine theta here right so what happens is take the sine theta also common so, so sine theta also will be going outside so here also one sine theta here also one sine theta so takes uh, sine theta outside so remaining uh, remaining term is this term is as it is and cos square theta so minus the uh, this plus will become minus so now we, what we're going to do is we're going to divide and multiply by n square uh, we're going to divide and multiply entire term power one by two so if you do means this half and this half will get cancelled so we'll be having one only and here the entire term will get cancelled with this because it's minus half and it's plus half so automatically it will get, get cancelled and cos square data will be having and denominator here we are having one and here is one by two so one plus one by two is nothing but three by two power three by two so here we are having uh, entire term power three by two just try to understand i'm going to multiply and divide by this term so finally we'll be getting like this so in case it's a, it's a, a basic uh, reduction and see a reduction of math mathematical equation so don't get confused it's very easy only if you sit sit and uh, try to uh, reduce it means you will be finally getting this equation and finally what we're going to do is uh, take the denominator outside so minus omega sine theta the entire term and this term can be written as n square minus take minus common so sine square theta plus cos square theta this is we already know sine square theta plus cos, cos square theta is one so we can write it as one so write the denominator as it is so now we know that is uh, that is <coughs> angular acceleration of connecting dot <coughs> angular acceleration of connecting dot is differentiating with respect to theta into omega so omega if you multiply means already we are having one omega if you multiply omega means omega minus omega square and entire term this is the equation three now we have determined the angular acceleration but we can also reduce this negative sign right this negative sign shows that the sense of acceleration of connecting dot is such that it tends to reduce the angle phi since we are having negative sign so if we know that is in this equation the sine square theta is very lesser when compared to n square so this term can be neglected as well as in previous also in previous also here we are having sine square theta right this sine square theta is very very lesser than n square so we can neglect this entire term so if you neglect means we will be having hence n square into 1 by 2 so this 2 and this 2 will get cancelled and we will be having only n that's what we have written here 
so omega cos theta by n and here what happens the nth term will be going and the, this two and this two will get cancelled and power will be having three so n cube will be there so we will be having n cube and if you reduce further this negative minus one if this unity is very small when compared to n square right so we can neglect so automatically minus one will also get uh, will get cancelled so finally what happens this n square and n cube right so if you get cancel means we'll be having denominator n so finally angular acceleration of connecting rod is minus omega square sin theta by n so this is the final formula so i hope the derivation is very clear in case if you are having any doubt in particular step in type in your comment section please do subscribe to my channel mechanical motivator and press the bell icon then only you will be getting all the videos which i upload thanks for watching this video have a great day